This is a really exciting weekend in general for sports. Uh, this weekend, I think LA will cement its place not only as a pinnacle destination in the marathon world, but also as an Olympic destination and Olympic host. The city will host not just one, but two world-class races in one single weekend. And we have the capacity to do this and get ready for the Grammys two days later. Los Angeles has the infrastructure, has the people, has the experience to make sure we can move through the city and that the race conditions are second to none. The U.S. Olympic team marathon trials on Saturday, followed by the 31st annual Los Angeles Marathon, builds on our heritage here in Los Angeles. On Saturday 1st, in partnership with USA Track and Field, Los Angeles is proud to host the U.S. Olympic team the trials marathon for both men and women, welcoming nearly 400 of the best marathoners in the United States. These trials will bring these 400, almost 400 runners here to Los Angeles, and this year's combined field will be the largest ever. The top three male and female finishers will earn that golden ticket uh, to go to Rio. We are very excited to be here in Los Angeles in 2016 to kick off our Olympic journey. And there are three things that are, we are really, really proud of with this event. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, uh, we have the highest number of athletes that will be participating in the Olympic uh, marathon trials. Uh, to qualify for that spot in Rio. We are very excited that we have a record uh, purse, $600,000 in prize money that will be distributed to the athletes uh, that participate in this race. And for the first time in uh, history, we have live primetime coverage on NBC for both the men's and the women's event, uh, which we're really, really thankful for that opportunity as well. Present Max with his bid. All right, everybody set. Yes, yeah, so uh, USA Track and Field, along with all of the other national governing bodies, we have a national governing body council working really closely with the United States Olympic Committee to make sure that we have the most current information. Uh, our medical team, along with our high performance team, have been disseminating information to our athletes, to the agents, to the trainers, uh, to make them aware of the conditions in the country and the precautions that they may need to take while they're there, either competing or in Rio. And, uh, I would you know, right now there are a number of precautions, obviously, uh, staying out of harm's way with respect to the, uh, the, the bugs that carry the virus. Uh, there are a number of things that are being suggested, whether they're topical ointments, uh, clothing, and those type of things. But working really closely, again, with our medical team and the U.S. Olympic uh, Committee team to, to, to give the latest uh, precautions out to our athletes. Speakers, we will break for just a few minutes. And at 2.30, I'm not sure what the time is right now, but... I think that any time that you have uh, uh, scandals of this magnitude that are reported on, uh, people become skeptical of both the entire, you know, the, the sport. So I think uh, really at, at, a, at a base level, just uh, doing those things with transparency, uh, sharing information, uh, consistency over a period of time, uh, hopefully will re-engage the public and restore their confidence in, uh, in the sport globally. I don't think it's, if it continues like that, we would lose people. People would not open us, they wouldn't trust us. How can we inspire a generation if we, we lie to them? So we need to be honest, we need to make sure we do everything right, to make sure like people who, go, who are caught doing it, they are punished and they are not allowed to compete in the sport. I mean, one thing that's interesting at Parallel is if you look at cycling and the kind of the reputation that it's gotten, but part of that is because everything's been exposed. I mean, well, hopefully, <laughs> but so much has come out. And I don't think that cycling is necessarily a lot more dirty than other sports. I mean, you can look to a lot of American professional sports where the they're not as strict as track and field and there's not as much openness about it. So. What I would absolutely not want is a situation where we're so afraid of getting bad news that we don't want to unearth it. Yeah. So I, th I think in the U.S. distance runners, I think we're doing okay. There's there's been a few people busted, but I think U.S. distance runners compared to like you know 
our global counterparts were doing pretty well. There's been a lot of problems with U.S. sprinters, um, but I think the U.S. overall, compared to the worst defenders, we're, we're doing we're doing pretty well. Um, and but but every country has their problems. Every country has their cheats. There's no country that hasn't been tainted by all this stuff.